How did you get this far? The story of Kyle Bossman. Let's do it. Let's get weird. High school is weird. Anyway, I'm a, I'm a young Kyle Bossman. I love video games. I used to celebrate console anniversaries. So I grew up dreaming of going to E3. I'm a quiet kid. Nobody really talks to me or asks for my opinion on anything. I've graduated. I'm home. I live with my parents because it's hard to find a job. I'm suffering from some of the most intense heartbreak of my life at this point also. And I'm just sitting there in pajama pants watching press conferences. And my dad thinking of me. What is my son doing? What is he going to become? Yeah, you can't buy a future. So I came out to Los Angeles for jobs for my career. And then you get this one shot. You see it. You finally see your opportunity. Hi everyone, my name is Kyle Bossman. I'm a press conference connoisseur. It's very hard to be unique on the internet. We saved the best for last and the most unique for last. He's one of our favorite in the GT office. This is it. I got a show. Thank you for helping. Uh, this is the final Bossman. Don't be weird. Look at this pineapple. It hates its parents and it drives a school bus. Um, number two is uh, an attempt at sincerity uh, with a apparent tinge of self-loathing. People respond to sincerity. So people respond to someone who is just acting like a human being. People are eager to speak to you, you know? They're not afraid of you. When it's press, it's like a an artificial kindness. This is so insignificant. Video games kind of inherently don't really matter, right? They're just, they're digital things. I just I have a real hard time with this word because I, I, I feel like anytime you use that word, you, you can honestly replace it with the word people. The more people I meet in real life, the, the less I think that there's any type of any kind of person. It's kind of like how we're like, when we're surprised when a celebrity plays video game. So you get out of here, you're too smart. We don't want you in this study. I only care what normal people think. And he decided to leave that behind because he was sure that video games would someday be just as culturally relevant as those other things. And on today's episode, it's time to make fun of some people who are working really hard. Picture, if you will, an existence in which you are at a dinner party and you may bring up Game of Thrones, but you may not bring up Grand Theft Auto. Oh, I wish I could play video games. I wish I had the time for that. Because you can tell they're like, that person is a little proud of that. I was like, yeah, we will have fun at the arcade. The arcade is fun. I know a lot of us are probably tired of hearing about gender inequality in video games. A 50-50 a, a co-ed environment encourages people to behave themselves. A diverse room does encourage creative ideas. It also discourages dumb ideas. Okay, that wasn't so bad, I hope. <laughs> Maybe next time we can handle racism. Just four white guys trying to figure it all out. I'm gonna make a big announcement in six and a half minutes. Let's get started. Forgive this tangent. When I was a child uh, at my grandfather's house, he, uh, one time he said, uh, you wanna play Minesweeper? He says, every dog poop in this yard is a mine. And if you step on it, you die. But if you clear out every single mine, you win two dollars. Do you accept this mission? <laughs> I was like, of course, yes, yes! Uh, I loved Real Life Minesweeper. It's a, frankly, it's a good game. More of the story, a countdown clock is always disappointing. What if I told you these bushes aren't real? What if I told you they're just some things I found at Michael's and put on the back of chairs every day? That sucks, right? It sucks to know that. I had this creation that I wanted to be enjoyed uh, fully and uh, I cared. That reacts to you as much as you are reacting to it. And the first person to call me out on it was Acid Trip 69 I like to think this show is rated T for teen. Because uh, most of the time I keep it clean, but uh, you never know when one of my themes might be suggestive, if you know what I mean. Oh no, please don't touch my precious backside. I like, that's good editing. I like when you put jokes in there. It's pretty clever. So as we race forward on this bullet train to the singularity, we like wanting things more than we like having things. And now we have drones that deliver packages that we've predicted you want. Siri, transport me to hoverboard class. I'm gonna be like that old guy at the end of Ratatouille who tastes that pasta and he's like, this tastes like childhood. I'm not gonna be mean anymore. 
and there's no reason to. There's nothing up in space, but you're there because you wanted to. And my dad says, wow, this is pretty cool. It's easy to forget, but uh, that can feel incredibly special. Of course, that's gonna seem perfect and cute in hindsight because the world matters up to that point. I think that people who chase those kind of emotions are ridiculous. It sucks to say this, but I think part of growing up is part of loving differently. What's redeeming about E3? My perspective is just a competition of lies. No thank you. It's just a bunch of millionaires throwing their money at a big old marketing parade. I'm trying to be positive, I'm trying not to be too cynical. In cases like this, cynicism is rewarded. Accomplishing things is hard. And so, yeah, it's, it's, it's easier to kick over someone's sandcastle than to build a sandcastle. And it's easier to make fun of someone's opinions than to state your own. I have this show that people watch, and, and maybe I should do good with it. And I realize, like, I'm a tiny little man with a tidy audience. And I'm a sort of a rational thinker a lot of the times, most of the time to its fault. I, I like to believe in numbers and statistics. It's probably the only reason why I'm good at fantasy football. Go cold french fries. I'm thankful that Beast Wars is on Netflix. Two sports analogies in one episode. My dad's gonna like this one. Respect yourselves, respect your audience, and respect your art, please. I'm proud of us for this. Here's to the whiners. Attention starved weirdo with a dream job just like, hey, we're legitimate. What I'm saying is that, that video games require a certain dedication, and if you don't have that dedication, that's okay, that's fine. But please don't ever frown upon the people who do have that dedication. Basically, the premise of The Final Bossman is just I, I sit behind a desk and talk about the things I care about. And that's honestly all I can promise. We celebrate anniversaries because they are rare things. <laughs> because uh, it is unusual for something to last this long. And so, uh, yeah, it, it, anniversaries are arbitrary. I can see why you would think it's a silly thing. What, it's just a number. However, uh, longevity is, is nothing to take for granted. Through my progressively worse backdrops to my increasingly droopy eyeballs, I've sort of created a web show legacy of weird, wrong, whiny opinions and jokes that only I laugh at. I start off, I say, uh, I'm Casey Kasem, this is America's Top 10, and I say, uh, this next song is better than the last one. Uh, sometimes I'll tell a sad story in between. Dear Gacy, my dog used to love this song. <laughs> and I gotta say, I'm pretty darn proud. Things are so good, and it just makes me nervous how good things are. I met a girl at the deli, and then we, we watched them go on this adventure where nothing bad ever happens to them. Batman is a total weirdo if the Joker isn't there. I'm sorry, you hired a person named Liquid Bossman? So he's like a consultant, he's trying to keep us more on point. You, you have another fear. No, Bossman. You have one more fear. What if it's something scary that might change me forever? Nope, this show's gonna stay the same, buddy. We don't want change. We live in a new age. Huber and I love to make bets. And so you know I can't back down from a challenge. And if I get them all wrong, I'll change my name to Donkey Butt. I'm not nervous. You look nervous. I'm simply humored by how ridiculous your bet is. Because you already lost. Bossman. Hi, uh, I'm here to deliver a new desk. Are you sure you're not Kyle Bossman? It says so right here on No. Your... My name is Donkey Butt. We're gonna take Bossman down, Damiani. We're gonna take him down. You will not succeed. Hey, uh, Damiani, basically I just, I put a lot of like what I wanted to say in this week's episode of Final Bossman, so if you could check that out. Uh, sorry, I can't, I got a date tonight. All right, who with? Uh, just some girl I met at the deli. I'm having lunch today with Michael Damiani and his girlfriend, who's quite cute by the way. They make a very adorable couple. Did you know they met at a deli? Who are you? What do you want? Well, I'm here to help, brother. Psychological oh, no warfare. <laughs> you will be crushed. Hey, Kyle, what are you up to? I'm shooting my show. There's a smudge on that wall. I know. It is important, I guess, for any human being to have opinions, and here I am. I think it's important for a human being to be wrong sometimes. Brandon, can I be real with you for a second? 
kind of feel like every, ever since I got this job, like if anyone likes this game, I'm supposed to like it too. And if people are mad about a thing, I'm supposed to be mad about it too. Yes, that's your job. You gotta attack your opponent's weak point. Boss, have you ever had sex? Yeah, I don't, I don't talk about this stuff in front of cameras. Weep. Oh, that's my weak point. You can go ahead and hit that, it's all right. This is my hubris, really. That's my weakness. So really, I'm beating me. You're not beating me, I'm beating me. Welcome to the show. I am Kyle Bossman. I do not see the resemblance. If I get this bet wrong, I will sit in a puddle. How does it feel? Get off my show! No can do, buddy. Don't watch this! I can't cut the feed! We have to watch this! I'm rolling up my sleeves. Read that. I think Kyle might be a big idiot. Welcome to the pig. I'm uh, most comfortable when I'm lonely. I feel isolated and I relish in it! Put your head in the game, Bossman. I'm gonna fight for her. Who? The girl from the deli. My girlfriend? Yeah, and I'm gonna win her over. And she will be my girlfriend. You need to stop. Women aren't prizes, they're human beings. And so am I. You have to accept that you can't be with that one person you love so much. Because you're the villain. Oh. I almost forgot. From now on, Michael Damiani is the new executive producer of The Final Boston. Don't you have enough? When you're crying yourself to sleep! I had to fight for everything in my life. And so you could imagine me at a public library in the computer lab one night finding a website called GameTravis.com and seeing a man with my face dancing around in a suit like some sort of privileged toddler. You're alone. You're alone in this world. You're alone in this office. I will win this alone. One of those is a magical creature beast who will take my show if I say his name. Actually, um, you know what? I just kind of take the bullets and laugh. Mr. Mime would say, ah, you're too late. Mr. Who? I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, sometimes I forget that I'm a mad genius. I just poisoned your oatmeal, bro. Kyle will just keep on going. And he doesn't know. He's a sociopath. What is that word? Remorse? Yeah, I don't know what that is. And I get so much enjoyment of thinking of the pain of that man. You remember when the show used to be about video games? Hey man, what are you doing? I'm just working out some design documents for my game. What's it about? You know when you just, you just really like someone? And you look at yourself, and you're just like, oh, I suck. And so you just work really hard. You go through a lot of self-improvement just to be good enough to talk to this person. It's, it's about like that and how that never works. You know, people are all different. Sometimes you can do all of these things, and a person should care about this thing, and that person simply will not care. Caring is a hard thing to capture, and sometimes there's just nothing you can do about it, and that's fine. And that's okay. It's okay to like things that would get a low score critically. Your choices in entertainment do not dictate what kind of person you are. They don't. And there is value in everything, even the 0.0s. Yeah, I'll do it. But what's the catch? Okay. Deal. And uh, there is something I'm now obligated to reveal. Uh, I was, have been, and am donkey butt. A decent handful of my comedy friends, take Bossman for example, aren't necessarily that happy of people. Yeah. yeah. Kind of yeah. dark. You're yeah. kind of a dark ass bitch, Bossman. True, true, true. I became kind of like some internet celebrity. None of that made me happy. Maybe you were just not meant to be happy. At this point in my life, it is very infrequent for me to get excited happily about things, anything. I have all this money. Might as well use it on something. Huh? I don't want to be the man I was last year. Okay, and here's something new. This will change things. I just want to want something. All I have is my toys. When a man develops scars, he, he hides them. He covers them. You know, and they're gonna turn out fine. They're gonna grow up and, and have a, a weekly web show that 
keeps getting worse and worse ratings? No, just write it in a tweet. More people are going to see it anyway. So that was it. 72 people watching. Just depressingly low numbers that only 2.3% of total viewers of the show stick around for these bonus bits we do at the end. Sometimes we put a lot of work into these, but clearly there's not even anyone watching right now. In fact, before I worked here, I was actually a Game Trailers fan. Why don't you just pick the game you like the most? Because then people won't know how cool I am. And the number one greatest invention of all time is disappointment. Maybe you want your friends to see those so that they'll judge you and they'll think you're as much of a slimy idiot that you think you are. Where you're just kind of like watching your life and not experiencing it? I think I have that, man. You're pathetic. Look at you. You're not gonna kill yourself. You wish you could. I'm tilting forward on the right analog stick. Philip! Philip! I'm trying to kill myself! I'm sorry, but sometimes things just don't mean anything. Right? That's life, and it, it sucks. It's just how it is. You know what? That ain't right. Why? Because you're scared and you're lazy. That's probably why you're not successful. It's not the bone spits. There's a smudge on your wall. You know why there's a smudge on your wall? Because you want it to look bad. You want to be safe in a bad show. You make a bad show, you shrug your shoulders and pretend it was supposed to be bad. I don't have to tell you, bud. My humor is esoteric, okay? It's not for everybody. But I do know this. Nobody cares about my actual opinions. Oh, okay. Yeah, your opinions that are mostly wrong. Please ignore me. Please don't take me seriously. Yes, they do. Get that through your weird shaped head. People care about your opinions. Nobody cares. This kid comes up to me, to Acid Trip 69. The kid says, hey, how come you don't do bonus bits at the end of your show no more? And I said, come on, kid, nobody cares about those. And the kid says, yeah, but you do, don't you? You two are the smartest people I've ever met. And I'm gonna go shoot a good episode of The Final Boss Man. My very first one. Why do you do this? Because I'm gonna make those commenters happy. You know, Damiani, I gotta say something before you go. I think I get it. I don't care what they think. They didn't care how many people saw it. You know, as long as they had a good time putting it in there. That's what this whole existence is all about, right? Like having fun. I did it for me. I came to game trailers to cause chaos, but I've started to like it here. I want to stay. I'm happy. I was just wondering what the true meaning of E3 is. There is a feeling there, you know? Or, as a wise soft drink once told me, we have press conferences because we have hype. We have hype because we have hope. And we have hope because we have press conferences. My life is a gift. Live to play. Play to live. Living is about being excited for what may happen in the future. What are you doing? I'm just living till I die. I liked it. I was good had it. I was... really? I was alive. That is... flawless. 6.1. You see what he did there? It's okay to like things that aren't great. Great message, Kyle. You did it. <laughs> Can I tell a story? <laughs> uh, so, I have just come back from my vacation, um, and I wanted to share a story that's kind of related. Um, at my friend's wedding, it's a high school buddy, uh, 
they did a cool thing where the bride and the groom gave each other gifts before, before the actual ceremony. And I thought that was pretty cool because they were like thoughtful gifts, very expensive too. Uh, it was like expensive, expensive, thoughtful. And it's just like, oh, cool. But anyway, before that, when he was explaining to us like, hey, I'm trying this thing out where I give, uh, you know, I give her a gift. Uh, he was explaining that he's like, I think that she's getting me a PlayStation 3. And uh, one of the other guys, wasn't me, said, uh, don't you want a PlayStation 4? And he goes, yeah, but, you know, I really want to play The Last of Us, and that's not on PlayStation 4. And I'm super proud of myself, because in that moment, I said nothing. I just let him believe that. And I think, like, that's, like, for me, a sign of maturity. I feel like I am a man, a respectful man, because I did not say, you idiot, that's on PlayStation 4 in two weeks. Um, I don't think he, he watches the show. So, like, please, like, don't tell him. Don't tell him I said this. Just, like, let him, let him live in that world. Because he, he did get a PlayStation 3, and he's, like, really happy about it. And so it's like, yeah, dude, just... Because, like, honestly, what does it matter? You know what I mean? He's not playing a different game than the rest of us are on PlayStation 4. It's all the same game, right? So, who ca like, who cares, like, what frame rate it is? It's still the same game. Still got those same cutscenes, you know? Story is the same. Like the way you upgrade is like it's the same, you know, whether you're playing on PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4. So, congratulations, man. It was a nice wedding. <laughs> Don't do the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> we have to. It got so weird. Yeah. It's sad. Are you like in love with the bride? Right. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>